I spend like a couple hours a day building Legos. I build cars, helicopters, planes, and snakes. I usually play with them because it helps me build big things. I can't wait till my wits can come for do. So I could buy some new toys and I could have fun with them. I'm wishing for a Hot Wheel Robo 2X Squaz. And then I have a, a Lego police truck. It actually can carry wobbles in it. I'm wishing for a drone and a chess game, a piano, a guitar, and drums. And I'm wishing for a computer so I don't have to work with my hands too much in school. It would mean so much because I can't really move my hands too much. Gideon was three years old. He was diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy and that just crushed our world at that time. Duchenne is a muscle wasting disease and it affects mostly boys and many boys in the USA. And it, well, what it does is it takes away the ability for boys to use their muscles and eventually their heart muscle also stops working. And by around age seven or eight, they are usually wheelchair bound, but we thank God that our Gideon is still able to walk and run. He's still able to do the many things that we thought we wouldn't see the day of him doing. And so we take every day as if it's our last day with him. We make the most of every day. Right now, coming out of summer, it just reminds me every year how hard it is for him going out into public places with other kids that he does not keep up with. Well, I feel kind of left out because they never wait for me. When he was younger, it was, it was a little bit easier, but now that he's older, boys his age, all they want to do is ride bikes and uh, ride skateboards, but he has never learned how to ride a bike. He's had two bikes that his grandparents gave him and he just was never able to learn. Sorry. And when he goes to the park, he just sits on the bench because he can't, he can't run up the steps, he can't go down the slide. He just sits on the bench and looks at the kids, how they're having fun. And so, Thanks to this wish, he was able to. He's hoping to get some toys and some activities, some outdoor games and things that he can bring along with him that he can involve other friends to come join him in so that he wouldn't be by himself and that while everyone else is having a good time. It'll, it'll make me feel kind of happy. So I won't have to be left out, I'll just play games. Also this summer, his grandpa flew in from South Carolina and he taught him how to play chess and checkers and he's hoping to get a nice set of that so he can continue to learn how to play that because he, that doesn't include, that doesn't need a physical running strain so he's able to sit and play for hours and hours. And same with Legos, he just, it's his absolute favorite. He sits and he plays for hours and hours with the audiobook in the background, like an old soul, but it's things that he loves to do. I think when you, don't, when you don't have a child or when you, you don't know someone close to you who has a life-limited illness, it was me three years ago too. I, knew, I heard about it, but it doesn't touch your heart until it actually happens to a close one. And if you have the power to do anything to ease that person's life or that family's life, please go ahead and do it because it's very meaningful. <laughs>